Tuesday. Welcome back. It is the face of Friday night. Peter Kivazo uh, and Richard Baguma and Charles Romshana. I was actually talking about the show. A friend of mine uh, many years ago. Uh, and uh, we've known each other for quite some time. Met Richard Baguma and Richard Baguma reported, your former student. Now, Richard Baguma, you need to report. No, no. Cornelius is my student because he follows me on television. He runs from me on television. He probably right now is watching. Despite his Council Cornelius lawyer. is a former board member of the NSSF. And I always tell him that when the things were happening, he was there. <laughs> I have General Yoel in 1986 and uh, uh, his comments about the ICC and then Charles will finish his comments. Legend of Flake. A new leader was sworn in as president. Nobody should think that what is happening today, or what has, ha what has been happening in the last few days, is a mere change of guards. This is not a mere change of guards. I think this is a fundamental change in the politics of our country. We lost interest in the ICC, ICC. It's not of our business, it's, it is a useless body. ICC initially thinking they were serious, but they are just a bunch of uh, useless people. Hmm. Yeah, you see, I saw the Americans arrest Charles Taylor. Hmm? I, wish I saw the Americans. These are, these are not good days for a country. Uh, because where has ICC failed? Where has ICC become any serious? Because it has moved on. It has failed to arrest Kony. Because it's not, they, they, they are not an, an arresting entity. It's the world to arrest. They the, threatened that if you host Bashir and do nothing, no, they will the, the get court, you. The court, and you have hosted Bashir twice. No, the court is not, has no capacity to arrest. It mm. is the world that arrests. So if you say, I have Bashir here and I'm not going to arrest him, then it means you are one with Mr. Bashir on the alleged war crimes. And, and, and it's possible. It's possible. That's the color you have chosen to take uh, and, and fall there. Um, but if you belong to the other world, uh, you know, I want to be very careful with my head of state, then you will applaud it or you will facilitate in the arrest. But my interest is why the, 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 they, turn around. The, they turn around. Certainly it's not because of Uhuru. It's not because of Uhuru. My view is that they are zeroing on him. And we now need to audit that. Actually, we need a statement to parliament. What is our problem with this court? Where has this court ro gone wrong? Where is it against our own interests? Or it's against the interests of the individual? Richard, you wanted so, to... So, do they have handcuffs? Are they ready? Are they going to be yellow in the car? <laughs> <laughs> well, handcuffs are always silver. Uh, you know, I, I also watched the, <coughs> the, the late Mandela. Uh, when he had left prison, he was at one of the universities in the United States. And uh, somebody really took him on, an academic. I think he was, he was also a broadcaster. He was TV was like you. Uh, you are friends with the dictators, including Libya, Baghdad, including Cuba, including. When I said the mistake that a lot of political analysts make is um, to say that if somebody is your enemy, they automatically become my enemy. That uh, if uh, you have your interests to pursue, they automatically become my interests. Uh, he said. We are not devoid of interest. The African National Congress and South Africa is not devoid of interest. And there is no permanent enemy or permanent friend. Actually, he said there's no permanent foe or permanent friend. You have permanent interests. And, and I think we need to look at these things. Uh, uh, you see, you, you have three decades of our lives and really productive lives for many of us uh, that have gone. And you have had these constant predictions about the times being very bad, the situation being very terrible, the country is going to implode tomorrow. Now imagine if that paralysis, that pre paralysis prediction, that analysis that, create, that, 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 that can create paralysis 
was to be followed by all of us. I mean, where would we be? Three decades have gone. Uh, so we, we, we have to mm -hmm. stand up and move. Otherwise, you would inject paralyzing poison in our veins and we'll be paralyzed and stop. We are not going to be. W what's the tangent moment? Because I'm thinking, okay, I've, I've listened to President Museveni. Uh, when we critiqued the fact that he was handing over Konyi to ICC, President Museveni had very solid reasons why he needed ICC with the Konyi situation. President Museveni that uh, lashed Bashir yesterday is now extolling Bashir. He must have washed him with some jik or some tribe of detergent. So suddenly Bashir is angelic. And I'm thinking, okay, what happened to Yoweri Museveni? <laughs> Is Yoweri Museveni <laughs> backtracking? <laughs> Are the other guys walking ahead? Or am I growing older? What does that mean? Did you look at the presidents that we are, we are there? Do you, you, I mean, if you, if you for example, take Charles' well, previous were, analysis, were, do you know that we have had clashes with several of the armies? Have you thought about that? So you see, it is the interests driving are some, those, some, are those of, some, some of interests, these interests, are they individual interests? Are they interests but, for but Uganda? And it. what are the <coughs> interests? No, a part of his lamentations, actually. Because you he, call them lamentations? He did. Mm -hmm. He lamented about the situation in Eastern Congo. In, in, yeah, in Eastern Congo. He lamented about it. And uh, who are the actors there? Robert Mugabe is among those who beat him out of there at Chitona near Inga Dam, uh, when they were going to take Chinshasha the second round. You have Angora, you have Namibia, and uh, now we have a coalition of those. You remember if, when you were opening up these talks of Burundi around here, you said they, they, back, they stabbed him in the back. They did something contrary to what they had agreed, and he was reluctant even to get involved into these talks. So they have rejected his African solution and rejected him militarily. So here he is with M23. So, yes, he's faced them, but... But they, they are comrades. I mean, you have Mugabe here, you have Bashir here. No, Mugabe they visits must be Uganda. Having. Mugabe visits Uganda. Uh, and, and by the way, I mean, trained, I mean, at Kaweweta, trained the uh, Zimbabwean freedom fighters. So it's not Mr. Seven who trained them. It was I mean, He facilitated the liberation of, of Zimbabwe. So we are friends as a people, we are friends as a country. And, and Mugabe would come, notwithstanding our own internal contradictions. And then they will listen. Actually, you now need to determine what were they doing when he was giving a speech. Some of them were reading magazines, others were... It, some, by the others, even enjoyed the music. Remember the one of Egypt? In the last, was it in the 50 years of, of independence? He came with a dancing crew to, 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 to show us their culture. So they have various interests, as you, as, as you say. But they are our neighbors, and they will always come. Um, uh, there were several other things happening around the uh, <laughs> swearing-in, and uh, one of those of particular interest to me, Richard Baguma, I don't know whether it's surprising, is Chiza Vesige. Chiza Vesige, one, gets out of his house, arrives in Kampala, um, for uh, the number of times I've been friends uh, with General Kaihura, someone tells me you cannot be friends with the soldiers forever. Uh, they, they, like the states, have interests. And uh, I'll tell you, I felt for whoever was holding fort at Chiza Vesige's home. On the night before Vesige actually busts out and arrives in town, there was a chopper that was doing a spotlight over the whole of Kasangati, and specifically, of course, I think it was targeting Chiza Vesige's home, torches over the whole place. And then the next day, he, he appears, I think he had become a cat or something, he appears at uh, Namirembe Road, and then the next thing, he's downtown. And I'm thinking, okay, <coughs> if I am, Omara is no longer in town, I don't know who is holding fort, what would I say? How would I explain this? What happened? I don't know. Finally, I know today he's been charged with treason. Richard. No, no. I, I, first of all, that VCJ, Dr. Chiza VCJ, uh, evaded uh, the guards and surveillance around him is also not new. 
after nine days it's, of... Uh, it's not new. He has done this more than once. Um, so, you do... is one of the things you'd factor into your expectations uh, when, when, you, <laughs> when, you are some, when you are doing that. The other thing that you talk about, uh, helicopter doing what? Putting a torch. Mm, torching over, yes. I mean, so that what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that it does what? So, uh, I mean, this is a game he has played, mm. and I think he's playing uh, quite reasonably well. Uh, but you see, I have talked about the Dr. Besiji before. No, 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 no. Uh, Richard, yes. first put aside Dr. Besiji. I want to understand the mode of security. Because I don't understand this. We, I'm not a security person. We are actually supposed to be deploying our very best, the cream de la cream, to hold this man. You're saying that the events of 2011, the events of 2011, when Chiza Vesige was returning from Nairobi through Entebbe Road, embarrassed your guests, uh, possibly that's why you have no Nigerian president. Of course, I know that the Nigerian president was in the UK where he was equally embarrassed. Um, <laughs> you don't have the Nigerian... but. All that scaffold of Entebbe Road in 2011 is something you want to totally... Why, are you, why are you forgetting earlier on? <laughs> why are you starting in 2011? Dr. has evaded his guard more than once, effectively. When I was still an active journalist, in 2011 I had left journalism. Mm. A lot earlier. <clears throat> I was... I was... Uh, uh, I, I did, uh, they didn't arrest me, but they broke into my room hotel room. Mm. Uh, I had gone with a group of journalists, had the, the mobilized the usual, uh, where you mobilize journalists, to f go for development stories. And we had asked Action Aid to, to help. Now, when we reached there, we, were, we went out for dinner. It's a small town. I mean, really, Capture was a very small town. That's many years ago. And we went to the lodge. In the middle of the night, uh, people bust my door <laughs> and entered. Now, I didn't even have time to, to put on the light. But while this one was shining a torch on me, one was holding my hand, left hand, and the other one the right hand, the torch shone on the other one who was holding my other hand. And he had just returned from Germany on a course, uh, intelligence course. So I told him, and I had reported <laughs> their pass out. <laughs> the police had got, as I said, so and so. Why are you behaving like a robber? He was so shocked and released my hand. When he turned to see, this one was, uh, was actually one of Rumshana's colleagues. Uh, so he was his friend in, and I have never told Rumshana this. He was your friend in ISO, actually. He's one of those <laughs> people who is in ISO. I think he was the DISO at that time. And, uh, and I said, why it's your problem? He looked at me and said, oh, old boy, it's you. I said, yes, it is me. And apparently the story was that Chizavis had escaped through Capucho. So in a strange face, then he became a suspect and a criminal. So anyway, finally, we sat down and had a, a laugh in the middle of the night. But this is not the first time he's doing this. And you see, I have told you for me, Chisa Vesiji is a very clever opponent. He's a very clever opponent. He says, look, I am not going to fight with you. I am going to pray. Mm. Yes. And so you come and beat me up when I'm praying. <laughs> very clever opponent. He says, I am going to walk. I am putting my bag on the shoulder and I am walking. What's your problem? There are very many people walking. And that works you up. So he's a very clever opponent. And I, 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 would have, I would have been, I don't know, maybe it would have been an anticlimax for me. For Dr. Vesiji, not to do something around this swearing in film. Not to share the headline with the president himself. Really? I think it would have been an anticlimax. So I think uh, it is something to be expected. Now, the, the, deal, the other matter mm. is the detention in Karamoja. Thank you. That's another matter. Probably people who do strategy could be smarter. Probably. Maybe I am, uh, I am speaking because I'm not the one holding the fort. So I don't know the heat that is in the kitchen. But I think probably some people could be smart. Charles Romshana. <clears throat> the, the, there is a game between Mr. Museveni, Mr. Kare Keyhura, and Mr. Vesij. There is a game. Uh, I have said before that the democratic movement 
opposed to dictatorship was destroyed was also usurped the way Uganda was usurped and, and occupied. By 1980, the Democratic Party was strong. Um, it didn't have the arms, fine. The UPC was allied to UNRA. One second. Our viewers were able to join into the show 0200 906672. 906672. Yes. So the, the, UNRA, the, the UPC was allied to UNRA, maneuvered, had the parliament, but there was a critical movement, there was a critical mass towards opposing the gun through democracy. And, and they were holding ground. This is what the NRA destroyed when it came into power in 1986 because they put up the so-called movement system that proscribed the political party activity and criminalized it. So for 20 years, the genuine political opposition collapsed. So you now have NRA divided into two. One of Mr. Museven that occupy his state house and the other one of the, of the BCJ type. And they move with us, they pray around us as we, as we grow. There is no way, Mr. VCJ, if M7 was bent on having Mr. VCJ stay in his home, there is no way he would come on the streets of Kampala. That I can assure you. That you see him do so means they let him do, do that, and you now need to find out why. Indeed, it's about headlines. I remember the time when they were going to read the, the thing, Fusa judgment, stopping him from uh, uh, getting out of the army, is the very day they overrun Chinshasha. You go and check. And this end couldn't be a story. The Kinshasa overthrow, overthrow Mbutu became a story. Um, so why do they want to have headlines around the drama of Mr. Chiza BCJ? Certainly it's a diversion. And for now, four weeks, we have forgotten about the tragic story of the Ruenzori. We've forgotten about it. I, I've several asked you whether you now have an audit of what the population in IDPs in the Ruenzoris are going through. You know there was um, um, there was um, um, a tragedy there, and people were killed by not an avalanche, um, uh, 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 the flood. The floods. And, yes, yes. Th th it's tragic. You have more than ten thousand people in camps with no water. I'm not very sure they have enough food. You talked about children walking on food. On food, I'm not very sure where their children food. Uh, mm. barefoot. I'm not very sure whether those children of Unbuja are going to school. But you can't have those headlines. You can't have... Hold on. Hello? Uh, yes, good, even, good evening. Yes, good evening, sir. Your name, question or comment? Uh, Nelson in Capture. Yes, Nelson, how's Capture? Good. Yes, talk to us. Uh, I want to appreciate the, the members of the panel. Yes. Uh, only that uh, you know... We must appreciate that this government has come a um, long, long time ago. And uh, irrespective of the differences that people have, we really have to value also what we have done for the many, many years. The other issue is that we accommodate each other as Ugandans. Irrespective of what we have as differences, but eventually we have to uh, also respect and also give them the honor because we give the British, uh, the colonialists, we give them the honor, we respect them. Eventually, now we are ourselves. We also need to respect ourselves. And uh, also hello? Give space to those who are actually leading. Hello? And, uh, yes. Yes, may I ask, are, are you trying to compare the colonists with the current? Uh, the people that hold fort, are they in the picture of a colonialist as well? Is that what you suggest? Um, I'm just saying mm. that Ugandans, we ourselves, we are supposed to be actually uh, leading ourselves, and there are those who are leaders, and eventually there are those who be led. We cannot all of us lead. Yeah? So if there are those who are leading, we don't appreciate how they are leading. But also we must appreciate that uh, who are also open, but it was part of the democracy. It is democracy, actually. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, so if you allow Mr. Vesije five years ago on the streets, on the highway. Hold on. Hello? Yes, Chivazo. Yes, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your name, question, or comment? This is the Kato 
Kawesa, I'm calling from Waise. Yes. I just want to first thank uh, Ramushan and his friends mm. for the comment. But for me, what I see, Mr. Tibazo, for me, I don't expect more about Mr. Museven for this time. Because we have to remember uh, during 2000, 2011, the same thing he told the Ugandan is the, the same thing also this time stated. And you, you even ask uh, us, Mr. Tibazo, on the radio there, what did you expect? I remember in 2011, what's the with, with uh, viewers and callers, <laughs> you have to ask that. What did you, what did you expect no, for five, uh, five years? During, during the, uh, 2011, we told you we don't expect much. And even we, we, the thing is, we proved it. We didn't see anything. And I want to assure you, Mr. Tibaso, Mr. President Seven always talked about uh, 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 corruption. And today, he used the term of uh, me, I was, uh, I, I, I don't know how I can state it, but he used, he used the word which is uh, how I can state it. That uh, for me, Mzendi Muyekera, Minda Kula Gaba Nava, Avali Yanguzi, that he am. So, that, that, uh, that thing. So, I want to, 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 to tell you, Mr. Chibaza, and, uh, and our listeners, for me, I don't Thank you very much. Uh, I think you make your point. Charles, conclude that point and then I'll ask yes, that yeah. question so that allow, he doesn't want me to ask. <laughs> if, you allow, if you allow the opposition, the Mr. BCJ, to walk on the interior road when you have heads of states and they throw stones, they pelt visiting heads of states with stones, how do they look at Uganda's opposition? So it helps Mr. Museveni to give him justification to crack on that opposition the way he so wishes. Because it doesn't mobilize for your allies. And uh, now he has justification to bring all these guns on the streets. But are these guns brought on the streets because of the drama of OBSJ? Certainly it's for some other reason. And we cannot interrogate that because he now gives justification for, for these guns. And uh, I'll rest that and take this call as well. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening. Good evening, Chivago. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your name, question or comment? From Entebbe. Yes. And uh, I, am, I just want to ask uh, Rumu Shannon. Uh, when he saw uh, those pictures that you have displayed showing uh, his arrest swearing, how, how does he call that? Is that comedy? Is that madness? Is that being, uh, is it being a state's person? Uh, to me. Thank you. Uh, I will not comment on those pictures because those pictures are going to be subject of uh, the said treason trial and uh, everyone will have... Uh, but it's not even court, is it? But, well, but, but, but you, are, you, you, you actually, comment you actually commented on them, Chivazo, if I may mm. tell you. For, for me, from an editorial point, mm. you have already commented on them. By doing what? By, by playing them, them. By presenting them. You have already commented mm -hmm. on it. So I allow everyone to think what they want about them. Yeah, yeah. So, but you so, stop, but, but, but you stop comments from others. And that's mm -hmm. fair. You are the one in charge of the program. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I thank you for the program. Your name? Uh, my name is Katoni Chadi. You see a person, not a... Yes. Uh, at times I did, with Mr. Chibazo. First of all, you should not rely very much on white men. We are political experience. Uh, if they fell out with the Bashir, why do they still have their embassy in, in Katoo? Right? So, we are independent. Let them allow us to enjoy our sovereignty. Thank you. At, second, I disagree mm. with the Katoka Wesa. But he doesn't expect anything from his excellence, President Yusei. If we have achieved the match, you see the roads, we have not achieved the match on roads. You have got to clean. New roads are constructed. Go to either the road. <laughs> In education, now the universities have increased. We are, not, we are almost in the 79.
Sorry about that. Uh, but I, get, I think you make your point. Of course, I say Katoka Wesa doesn't expect. You expect. Kato Richard expects. Oh, they are okay. wrong. Hello? Yes, Mr. Chibazo. Good evening. Good evening, Dugu. Yes, uh, I wanted to uh, let those people know. Your name? Uh, my name is Dugu. I'm calling from Kisoro. Yes, how is Kisoro? Kisoro is okay. It must be too cold. <laughs> uh. But I wanted to inform those people who, who, who are always convinced that Museven gets a landslide in Kisoro. This time it was so different. So those uh, are, are, are those different. are those your results or are those Chigundu results? I don't know. I think Chigundu <laughs> has his own results. <laughs> good for us, because uh, really, if you see how people are disgruntled down here in the villages, that's when you will believe on what's on ground. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I faced very much the same situation I shared with Charles today where I was in Jalamba and I'm not sharing that on air but uh, it was an interesting one. Hello? Hello? Okay. That forces me into the ad break and when we return we'll have the gentleman discuss at the table and one of the things that uh, we'll pick into is what the future holds, what the next five years hold. Uh, are we seeing 70, officially 72? Do we have him lift the age limits? Do we have a change in the length of the term of office of the presidency? What, what is coming? You have M70 very excited about possibilities of oil spewing out of the places in Uganda. I remember a certain uh, Brian Glover in 20... I think 2009, 2009, telling us before he was moved from Kampala that Uganda would not see its first production of oil until between 2019 and 2021. Of course, he had uh, taken a bit of wine or whiskey. He did the good black or blue label. And whenever he did one, he said things that tended to be true. He told us then that until between 2019 and 2021, forget about oil coming from the uh, Bunyoro Graben, as it were. He actually said, even when it was ready, it was not strategically good for them as a company to push that oil onto the market. He said, for what reason should we push the oil on the market? And he was projecting 2021. Those projections haven't changed much. But Brian Glover was taken out of Kampala. And uh, Talo Oil got a more suave MD that spoke good English and never said those things and doesn't drink black label. Don't go away.